Hey guys, welcome back to the Easy Maths channel. In this video, we're going to be learning about lines. Here are some of the names of lines with respect to their direction. Here we have a horizontal line. Here we have a vertical line. And finally, we have a diagonal line. Here are some types of lines. This one here is called a line. This one here is called a ray. This one here is called a line segment. Let's first explore lines. A line has arrowheads at both ends. This means that a line extends in both directions infinitely. A line can be in any directions, such as horizontal, vertical, or diagonal. A line can also be of any length, such as short, long, longer, or longest. Now let's explore rays. A ray only has an arrowhead at one end. This essentially means that a ray extends in only one direction. A ray can go in any direction. A ray can also be of any length, like short, longer, or longest. Now let's explore line segments. A line segment has no arrowheads which means it doesn't extend in any direction. A line segment has endpoints at both its ends. This is why line segments don't have any direction. But line segments can still be drawn in various ways. They can be of any length, like long, longer, or longest. Now let's look at the relation between lines. Lines can be parallel, perpendicular, intersecting. First, let's look at parallel lines. Parallel lines are a pair of lines that are the same distance apart and never touch each other. Parallel lines can be in any direction, like horizontal, vertical, or even diagonal. Let's look at some shapes that contain parallel lines. A hexagon contains parallel lines in both ways. A rectangle also contains parallel lines, and so does a rhombus. We can also use marks to represent parallel lines. For example, the lines here indicate that these lines are parallel. Now let's explore perpendicular lines. Two lines are said to be perpendicular if the lines intersect at a right angle. As mentioned before, a right angle is an angle that is exactly 90 degrees. These examples here show perpendicular lines. This square here has perpendicular lines. This rectangle has perpendicular lines. And this rhombus also has perpendicular lines. We can use marks to represent perpendicular lines as well. Drawing a small box in between them indicates that not only are the lines perpendicular, but the angle is also 90 degrees. We can use these marks to represent perpendicular lines in 2D shapes such as squares, rectangles, etc. And finally, let's explore intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are lines that are neither parallel nor perpendicular. This means that intersecting lines will meet each other. That's it! We hope that this video helped you learn more about lines and their types. Make sure to like and subscribe for more.